Hello, everyone. Our next speaker is John McIntosh, an NHS data analyst based in Inverness, Scotland, a frequent blogger who has the courage to do a live lightning talk. So take it away, John. Thank you. I'm going to talk about quality improvement data with R. So I'm based in Inverness and I work for a health board which covers a very large part of Scotland and I have been supporting a national safety program for the last few years and that covers several programs such as adult primary care and mental health um, operating in about 30 hospitals, 100 GP, GP practices and about 80 clinical ward areas. We use run charts to assess our process, our measures and how well we're progressing. They are simple and easy to construct so they can be used at the front line. However, the information also needs to be collated and fed through the organization and that's where I came in. So on the right there, there's an example of a care bundle. It's got five steps. All of these have to be operating at about 95% reliability. And we use run charts to tell us if that's the case. So a run chart is a time series. The main thing is the median line here. So we take a baseline measurement at the start and we extend that into the future. We continue to plot our information and look for patterns in the data. I was struggling with about 400 charts and one day I sat and mapped out the future and I realized that spreadsheets were not going to cut it. So here we go, uh, we have uh, several thousand potential charts basically. And the analysis is quite um, complicated sometimes. So there are several rules that we apply. Shift, which is a, a run of six or more points above the line or below the line. Trend, which is five or more increasing points. An astronomical data point or too few or too many runs. There are some critiques of these rules, however. Uh, the trend rule has been described as virtually useless. Um, the astronomical data point is hard to program, quite subjective. Too many runs will never usually be a sign of an improvement. It's usually two processes operating at once, like day shift and night shift. However, the too few runs is fine, and that is the basis for the QI charts two package. So that leaves me with the shift rule. Um, there are, as I say, there are some challenges, both analytical and sort of from a BI reporting perspective. So I built something in R. This does everything I want it to do. Calculates my, calculates my medians, finds the runs, and keeps on going. Uses data table and ggplot too, so it's pretty stable. And essentially it turns this into this, which is just what I wanted. Now, the points in the median, just to show how tricky this can be. If you're looking at the data, it's maybe not apparent what's going on, but Runchar finds the run below the median, which is spread over f about 15 points rather than nine. Doesn't require much to get a plot, just feed in your three variables, the direction you're looking for, your date, your grouping variable and your y value and you get the plot and a data table showing the baseline and any sustained runs. If you don't like the colors you can change them. Some people say you shouldn't do this but I know that this data is genuine. I have colleagues actively bringing about the change 
it motivates motivates frontline teams and it helps pull out the signal from the noise. I'm also working on an SPC charter. So basically it's process control charts that are a bit more robust and useful for longer term monitoring, especially for outcome and balancing measures. It will find a run and then rebase control limits. You can build P charts for percentages, U charts for rates, and C charts for counts. You can change the parameters here to give solid lines rather than shades. Small multiples, very easy. There are some differences. I've learned a bit more about programming with data table. So SPC Charter takes bare variable names as opposed to quoted ones in run charter. And there's also a, an additional grouping variable. Future plans um, adapt run charter to accept NSE, adapt SPC charter so it accepts larger denominators, so basically create prime P and prime U charts, improve the testing, there's none yet for SPC charter, and then maybe CRAN at some point. That's it. That's the end of my talk. You can find my packages on GitHub and you can find me on the internet in various places. Well, thank you. Um, we have time for a few questions. Um, I have one is, do you use these charts uh, alone or is it a collaborative method, you know, work with teammates? How, how does it, how does a day go when, when you're using the system? I use these for analysis. Um, so static reporting, historically, they can be used in, in within meetings, but it's mainly for reporting for the organization. So I will use these to create PDFs, uh, images, um, as well as to supp supplement our BI tools. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Take care. <laughs>